to another in the Perfect Laser series of tutorials. Today we're going to show you how to set your Corel laser within Corel Draw. If you've updated your software, changed your computer, reinstalled the software, you'll find that the default is set at Windows Meta File. You actually want to have it set on JPEG. You also want to have the uh, engraving area, this is for engraving, set on only selected. It defaults to current page. The same goes with your uh, cutting data. It also defaults to current page, but uh, it also defaults, by the way, to Windows Meta file over here. And the best one to put it on is the PLT HPGL2 plotter file, which is a nice clean cut. Cutting size and cutting area only selected. These two normally on, don't worry about them. That will default to that and the next one to off. Your pixel size is two, which is correct for engraving and it will go to one for cutting, which of course will then be a thousand DPI and engraving is 500 DPI. You don't want to always display this dialog box, so don't click that on. On your menu, you've got your engraving and cutting icons and then of course your machine settings, the device initialize. The main board that your machine has, if you bought from Corel Laser, is the Laser M2. The default that the machine will come up with if you've changed the software or installed on a new machine is either B or B1, but you must change this to M2, otherwise you'll get really strange results. The next step is the speed ratio, which shows on auto, that's on zero, that's quite correct. Resolution below that is on 1000, that's also correct, it's the default for cutting. I normally change the maximum speed down to 400 uh, or even a bit less for that matter, but 400 is fine. The machine doesn't really operate that well at 500 millimeters per second, so bring it a bit slower and what, you can still set it within the engraving. Coordinates top left simply means it's going to start in the top left, which is where you want it to start. Your origin X means uh, that the default is one millimeter away from the left and Y one millimeter away from the, t the back. I normally change this to 10 uh, and 10. The reason for that is if you're engraving and it's too close to the left hand side, you're going to get an error message telling you that uh, you can't engrave uh, because the, the head doesn't have enough space to turn around. Going to the page size, if you have a PLT 6040, this is quite correct. It's set up for uh, 600 by 400. If you had a, if you have a, 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 a PLT 3040, this would be a 400 by 300. And of course, the little machine, the 2030 would be 300 by 200. When you install your machine and switch it on, you'll see it'll automatically pick up the device ID. In this case, it's none because I do not have a machine connected. But uh, when your machine is connected, it'll automatically come up with your device ID in this little bottom screen. On the right here, you have the property, uh, priority at least, and uh, I normally set it to the higher priority. And that simply means that stuff happening in the background won't interfere. You can also click on the anti-disturb, which means it'll be less likely to have a problem. All these other things, mainly for setups, you can ignore them. That's fine, not a problem. You click on OK, and that's your setting for Corel Laser in Corel Draw. Simple, isn't it?